Oh yeah, new camera angle. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? My name is Lot Merman or Matthew. Today we are doing a Q&A. Yesterday I asked you guys to submit questions on a sort of video. Um, these are the questions now and I also submit, asked you to submit them on Twitter um, uh, with the hashtag Ask Merman. Um, this is my third Q&A ever um, and I think we've got the most questions for this so hopefully I can get through them all. Um, if you do want to enjoy this video make sure you do smash a like and of course subscribe if you're new. This is probably going to be mostly subscribe viewers watching, but sure, if you're unsubscribed, you might as well do so. Okay, so first question comes from Sir Pugzala, and he asks, what's your favorite cereal? My favorite cereal has to be, um, it's got it's gonna be Cocoa Pops. Um, but I don't really like the Cocoa Pops that's the, like the main brand of Cocoa Pops. I like sort of the knockoff brands, like from Aldi and Little. I think they taste way nicer than the actual, like OG, actual Cocoa Pops. Next up, we got a question from MCK on YouTube as well. Have you ever thought about vlog? Yeah. Have you ever thought about vlogging every day, doing daily activities? I've thought about it, um, and it's like I put a lot of time into my vlogs, um, and literally they drain me for everything I have because I put literally so much work into editing them. And I don't know, doing that every single day as well as the gaming videos because I do like doing the gaming videos, but I really love doing vlogs as well. Um, it's tough, it's going to take a lot of effort and I know if I started a daily vlog I would end up failing. Um, I don't know, who knows, in the future I, I might try it if it's something that you guys want to see. Um, the Real Gamer asks, do you even think about having a pet? I actually have a pet. His name is, his name is Rocky and he's, he's outside but it's pissing rain outside so I can't actually show you, unfortunately. XI Scoot by X asks, what is your sub goal for the end of 2017? This is actually a really good one. Um, I don't know, my sub goal for the end of 2017. So obviously transitioning into 2018. Um, I know we got the release of these eight new zombie maps um, and we got the release of World War II. Now, when games release and when maps release, um, it's really unpredictable how much subs you can actually gain. But since I'm doing YouTube practically full time right now, um, I'm going to be uploading every day and the momentum we're going at is really good so I'm expecting definitely over, I'm going to say 20k, um, if I'm not over 20k I'm going to be really annoyed at myself so um, if we hit 20k by the end of 2017 I'll, I'll be happy enough with that. Um, next up we got a question from Neil Stewart and he goes what do you plan to do after Chronicles and Zombies finishes? Well, I'm going to continue with Call of Duty stuff but I'm, um, I have a couple of plans for summer um, vlog wise and sort of entertainment wise and sort of going out into the public and um, doing sort of videos like that i will be streaming di a couple of different games and mixing around but they're always going to be survival based and first person shooter based because that's the sort of games i'm into and that's mo mainly the games that you guys are into and um, so so it sort of works well with that and um, mw games ask other than kino which other map you're uh which other map are you looking forward to in dlc5 keep it a great work lad thanks very much man and um, other than kino what is the? It's it's gonna be Origins, definitely 100% Origins. Um, I think I've put the mo I, I've said this before. I put the most hours into Origins, um, ever into a zombies map. It's like I played that so I she played that so much. And we're gonna hop on over to Twitter because there was a couple of questions over there. Not as many as on YouTube. There was still a couple. Um, first in on Twitter, Alex asks, "Will I ever get a shout out?" The answer is no, Alex. You'll never get a shout out. And um, the scavenger asks, "Favorite staff or bow?" I love the way these are all Call of Duty questions. Favorite staff and bow and bow. It is not or bow. Um, favorite staff is going to be the fire staff, and favorite bow is going to be the electric bow or the lightning bow because I don't know they're, they're both lit as fuck. And Vokai or, or Yakov comes in uh, with the hashtag #AskMarman. What is your least favorite Call of Duty game? My least favorite Call of Duty game probably has to be Infinite Warfare. I think it sucks absolute ass. Um, Advanced Warfare was way better than it, and honestly, I don't know. It's just it's just that they're killing the community totally. So that's why everybody's so hyped for World War Two as well. The Souls, I think I don't know how to pronounce that properly. I always fuck up pronunciations, so I don't feel offended. But will you be live streaming all these strikes for Call of Duty Zombies Chronicles like you done for Garod? Um, I will, um, actually, I'm going to be streaming a shit ton. I'm going to start streaming a lot more. Um, I've already streamed, I streamed yesterday, actually, if any of you guys are watching that. It was a keynote stream, got a huge tornado, a massive tornado. Um, and that was sort of a test stream. All you guys were hyped for that, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to be fucking streaming all these new zombie maps. And they're going to be really cool, because I've, I've played this a lot before, and I know a lot of you guys haven't, but a lot of you guys have, so it's going to be really cool. Um, let's hop back on over to YouTube. What's my favourite zombies map and why it's going to be Kinder Toten? It's the first zombies map I've played and I feel like it's just so nostalgic. 
that's the reason why. Dean Madden asks, what happened to Mondays with Matt? That's a really good question. For those of you that don't know, I used to do a series every Monday called Mondays with Matt, where I just talk about uh, my life. And um, the idea behind the series was basically when I was streaming, like every single day when Dry Eyes and Dracula came out, I used to stream a lot. Um, I know a lot of you guys came to my channel from those Dry Eyes and Dracula videos and Dry Eyes and Dracula streams. But basically, um, and I used to always talk about school and what I was doing in school and how the leaving cert was going and stuff like that and I was explaining sort of my school life on a lot of my streams and a lot of you guys actually really liked it and it was really engaging so I thought oh, every Monday I'll just talk about school and how's it going and, and, and all that stuff and that was sort of the idea and since I'm not in school or I'm not in college anymore and um, that series sort of died off I think I made it three episodes and then um, I sort of stopped doing YouTube for like a month or two so that series sort of died with it so that's what happened to Mondays with Matt Shivers six ask how small is your dick? Um, Amy, it's uh, Amy, it's a lot bigger than your standards anyway. Dead to point oh, who's your favorite zombies YouTuber other than yourself? I said this before and I'll say it again. It's gonna be the Smith players or Patrick, whatever you guys know him as. I think he's just really chill. I used to always watch his streams. He's one of the only YouTubers that whose streams I can watch from start to finish and not get bored and just they're they're so flaked like they're not hyped up and he doesn't talk real fast and energetic or anything like that. He just sort of flakes out, plays zombies and it's just real chill. Um, I literally love his streams. I love his videos as well. So it's definitely gonna be him. I love the way he said other than yourself because you already know that I love myself so much. Um, Vassified Gaming asks, any future events you're looking forward to or attending and who inspired you to start your own YouTube channel? No single person um, actually uh, like inspired me to make a YouTube channel. It was sort of the time where like top five kill cams and quick scoping and all that was really big on YouTube. That's when I actually got into YouTube, but I've been doing it since I'm 12, a lot of you guys know that. Um, during the heavy, heavy Modern Warfare 2 days, um, where everybody was quick scoping, and if you couldn't quick scope, you were that uncool kid in the class. That's sort of what got me into YouTube because then I wanted to start making sniper montages and put them up um, for people to see and they actually they used to get like a fair amount of views. I did a couple of them now I'm gonna react to them actually one day uh, for this channel um, and that I, I'm literally dying to make that video but I want to sort of build up a couple a couple more subscribers to actually re react to that because I know a lot of you guys can actually relate to that and we're sort of playing Call of Duty during that time as well. Um, any future events I'm looking forward to? I'm looking forward to E3 this year, obviously when World War 2 we actually get multiplayer reveal. I love watching E3, I actually stay up and watch the live streams because um, if you hear the crowds you actually when a new trailer and a new game comes out and you see gameplay of it and it's, it's just a really cool time to be a gamer, I don't know. Um, I literally love watching that and, and just seeing all the new games that are coming out. Um, but I won't be going to that, I'm going to be um, watching that, obviously I normally watch the streams. Um, or attending, I don't know, um, I really love the YouTube events that I'm going to, I'd love to go to Insomnia one time, um, I know a lot of you guys do go to that, um, I'll probably go there by the end of this year, or if not, definitely next year, and coming coming to the, to a, to a, to a, today, junior? To a swift close, okay, Polly M112 ask, will you be getting any new tattoos soon? Um, I will be getting a couple more tattoos. Um, as you guys know, I got this tattoo. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully it's in focus. Um, but yeah, we got that tattoo, and that tattoo means a lot to me. I made a video on it. It's in my um, Why I Dropped Out of College video, if you guys want to check that out. But basically, um, I'm getting sort of uh, like a load of game and stuff around it. So I'm not gonna spoil it, but I'm getting I'm getting something added here, something added here, and then I'm getting also another tattoo on this side of my wrist and on the other arm. That's sort of plan. And then I'll probably get something as well about here. Um, all with different meanings that I'd sort of I don't know. I'm gonna I'm, it, you have to see them and then I can sort of explain them and stuff like that. But they're gonna be really colourful, really bright. Um, a lot of people don't like bright tattoos, I really love them. Um, but that is it for this Q&A. Um, I'm surprised you asked me so many Call of Duty and gaming related questions. I was sort of like, what was your favorite serial and favorite things? Like those were the questions that I was thinking uh, would, I would get asked more, but surprisingly it's Call of Duty related, a lot of them. Which is, which is cool as well. Let me know, um, answer some of those questions that I got asked actually in the comment section below. Let me know what your favorite serial is and shit like that. Um, and let me know if you want to see more of these videos, or if you want me to do a QA and a with a relative or a friend or something like that. Um, I'm thinking, I don't know, just uh, the, the idea behind this was what, sort of to get to know me a bit better, considering I do a lot of Call of Duty stuff. 
<laughs> you can't deny me personally, but you guys obviously ask Call of Duty stuff, which sort of countered it. But that was the idea behind it. So if you want to see more sort of videos like this, like Would You Rather or anything like that, on a Sunday as well, because Sundays are just totally flaked and so slow. I don't know. Just doing a chill video on that day would sort of be flaked though, and you guys can sort of look forward to it then. Um, but that is pretty much it for this Q&A. If you did enjoy, of course, smash the like button. And um, if you're new, once again, subscribe. And that's what we're doing. I'm going to leave the video here. Peace out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in another video very, very soon.